This video is about the three pin plug, how to wire it and its safety features. You'll see on a normal standard three pin plug that there are three screws. One, two, three. These screws are just for the cable grip, which you'll see when we turn it over and open the back. This is the main one that opens the back of the plug. So if we simply unscrew this one, it doesn't even have to come out all the way. Yeah, and we should be able to remove the back off the plug and we should then see inside of the plug. Now inside of that plug you'll see that there are three wires. There's the brown wire that is live, there's the blue wire which is neutral and there is the yellow and green striped wire which is the earth wire. They always have to go to these particular pins so the live wire always goes to this pin here. This live wire is where the electricity comes in from the power supply to the appliance. You'll see that that has the fuse connected to it here yeah? and you simply connect it by uh, undoing this screw here and pu putting a, a section of bird wire in there right? into the hole which is below that pin. So if I were to unscrew this, this, um, this screw here now you'd see that there's a hole inside there and that's where you put the bird wire in. The same with the earth and the same with the neutral. Now this here is the cable grip I talked about before and if you undo this, or two screws on the other side this piece of black plastic is released so that this cable here is not held tightly so you could remove it. Let's go over a few of the safety features then. First of all there is the fuse. The fuse is usually a glass or ceramic container and inside it is a single piece of wire. That wire is rated, it could be 1 amp, 2 amps, 5 amps, 10 amps, 13 amps. And if it goes above the rating for that piece of wire it will burn. So basically if too much electricity goes through the plug, through this um, live wire, the fuse wire will burn out. That will protect the appliance. The cable grip is there so that if, um, let's say this is plugged into the wall and a small child comes along and pulls on this, this cable here, it doesn't come out and you get an electric shock. The earth wire itself is another safety feature. What that is for is for if the case of the appliance were to become live, for example if a wire broke inside the case, then instead of the electric current passing through you when you touch the, um, the case of the appliance, it goes down through the earth wire. At that point the fuse should also blow. Other safety features include the back of the plug itself. The whole plug, as you can see, is made of a hard plastic. That is an insulator, so obviously if you were to touch the back of the plug while it was plugged in, then you wouldn't get an electric shock. Um, finally, there is another safety feature which is quite subtle. You can see that um, the uh, neutral and the live pins here, this is the earth pin, the neutral and the live pins are plasticized halfway down. You can see that this is black plastic here. What that is for is in case if the plug is only plugged in part way into the wall, yeah, as it's plugged in, if for example you were feeling particularly dangerous and if this plug was plugged halfway in and you decided to pl pl um, push something like a screwdriver into that gap, you wouldn't hit the metal you'd hit the plastic. It doesn't matter if you hit the, the earth because there shouldn't be at any point any current passing through there. So this is another small safety feature just here. On modern plugs you'll find that they are moulded on. This is quite an old fashioned plug so you can, if you feel the need, you can actually stick a screwdriver into there. But again you can't touch anything because it's moulded such that you can see inside there. All you touch when you, if you were to stick a pin in would be plastic. Okay, so that's another safety feature on more modern plugs. You'll find that this is molded plastic around here. I believe it's now illegal to sell any new appliance without a molded fused plug on it. This is obviously a UK plug which has the three pins. You'll find plugs from other countries may only have two pins, and that's why you have these travel adapters.